Hello, my day family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. I like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Hola, my day family. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Beautiful day out today. So today I want us to talk about making them change. So this comes up a lot, you know, and of course, not necessarily in the exact words, but surprisingly enough, um, I, I get it a lot in the exact same words from people as well. How do I make them change? How do I change, you know, how he reacts or how she reacts to a certain thing or a certain uh, situation, right? So the first thing to remember when it comes to this particular topic is that everything I say applies equally to males as it does to females. I see this a lot in videos, in, not in videos necessarily, but in comments underneath videos where people are commenting and a lot of times arguing with each other and mostly from men where they'll comment and say, oh yeah, well, women need to learn how to keep themselves up and go to the gym, even, even if they're married. And so then I start thinking to myself, oh, okay. So the guy is allowed to be a lazy slob, but the, women, the, but the woman is the one that has to keep up with her appearance here, right? Makes no sense, right? And so I want you to keep in mind that these topics, apply equally to men as they do to women because here's the thing men and women are are different in the maybe tend to be different maybe in the way that they approach things but ultimately you know as human beings we all have a collective foundation that links us together, right? And so when it comes to these aspects of relationship, for example, communication, um, being open, being on the same page, those are not things that apply to one gender more than they do to the op op opposite gender. Those are universal things, right, that, all, that link us all. Whether you're male or female, you need to know how to communicate with your partner, right? It's, it's, it's in your best interest. You should keep up with the way that you look, the way you take care of yourself, whether or not you're in a relationship, which is hard, I understand. Easier said than done, but that goes for males and females. And so it really drives me nuts when I see in the comments people arguing and fighting about something that's so fundamentally um, obvious <laughs> that it, that it's something that obviously applies to, to, to everyone, regardless of gender, right? So, so for example, there was a video that, was, that I was watching and it was, it was an interview with Matthew Hussey. I don't know if you guys have heard him. I don't really like him. I love his messages. Compared to, to Kevin Samuels, I think they're like night and day communication wise. I, I believe that some of the messages they try to impart are similar, However, they're completely different. And I don't necessarily like Kevin Samuels' approach. I think he takes the harsher approach, but I don't think it's effective. I think all he ends up doing is gathering males as followers, and not only just males, but like loser males, like males that don't don't meet, don't meet standard criteria. Those are that's his, those are his the, those are the people that he amasses. Um, because of the way he delivers his message versus um, Matthew Hussey, who it's not like, um, so I'll tell you the comment that I saw that, that really irritated me underneath, uh, one of the comments that I saw underneath the interview with Matthew Hussey, but so his del delivery is still straightforward, right? But he'll give examples and he'll it's more impactful in the person's life because the person is able to receive it better. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Because he's not so aggressive in his approach, right? He really tailors that approach and explains the concepts in a way where people are like, oh, that's true. I've been doing that. 
as opposed to Kevin Samuels, who puts people on the defensive before before ever even saying anything. And so no, no growth is ever made. You can't make any growth because the person is already on the defensive. So he's not really imparting any change, in my opinion. He's not imparting any lasting change. He, the guy is funny sometimes. It, sometimes it's just sad to watch the way he treats other people. But sometimes he's funny, but that's about it. Is he impacting any any true change in our society? No, I don't believe that he is because his approach is too rough and it's too um, unguided. It seems to be mixed with a lot of anger. And so it makes it hard for people to, or his the people that he's trying to guide to receive that because it puts them on the defensive and you can't really reach someone if they're on the defensive, right? So you can be straightforward. I'm a very, in a lot of things, I'm a very straightforward person, but he crosses over into being more of a douche, in my opinion. He doesn't believe that, but from what I've seen, he doesn't believe that, but it's like, I mean, you are, you are what you are. <laughs> anyway, so the comment that I saw underneath that video was, um, oh, under Matthew Hussey's video, oh, he's sugarcoating it for women. So my response to that comment was, oh, I'm sorry. I guess I missed the memo as to the explanation as to what, what is quite wrong with sugarcoating. I'm like, I'm not understanding. Like, okay, what's wrong with sugarcoating? I'm not, because the message is the same. The message is the same. You arrive at the same conclusion, the same message, right? It's just the delivery. And so if someone is more likely to receive that information by you softening your approach and delivering that information, what's the issue? So that was my question to that individual that left that comment because I, for one, prefer Matthew Hussey a million times over Kevin Samuels because I received that message a lot. Like it touched my soul. Kevin Samuels doesn't touch anything for me. I mean, I, I mean, I don't laugh at some of his jokes, but the guy is, is a nightmare in my opinion to listen to and probably to deal with. So, um, so yeah. And so that was my question. It's like, I'm sorry, what's wrong with that again? What's wrong with taking a softer approach and delivering messages so that people are more likely to receive that message, internalize it and process it. You know what I mean? And so that brings me again to the point of like any message that I talk about on my channel, most of the time, unless I say otherwise, is going to be for both males and females. It's There's no like, oh, this only males need to know how to communicate. Now, oh, only females. Like, no, you you want to be in a relationship. You need to learn how to communicate, especially with your partner, right? Whoever that may be. So, back to the topic of wanting them to change, or how do we make people change? I get this question all the time. How do I make him change? How do I make her change? How do I make the relationship change? You know. And so, of course, you know this, but I'm gonna say it anyway as a reminder. You cannot make or force anyone to change. If that person does not want to change, that person will not change. And so you are essentially wasting energy on something that you have no control over. That has that really you just don't. You just don't have any control over whether or not someone changes. So I don't know where this internal ego for us as human beings comes from when we ask those questions because when we're asking those questions we're putting ourselves on this pedestal of like i can make that guy change especially when we stay in relationships with the mindset of oh i can make him change his mind he'll change his mind he'll change his mind once he sees how good the relationship is so you're putting yourself on this pedestal of feeling like you could change another human being when in reality if that person changes it's because they want to it's not because you did anything to impart or force that change right and so when you're in a relationship or when you're dating and someone tells you to your face i'm not ready to be in a serious relationship right or here's a famous one 
someone says, oh, just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. I'm going to make another video about that because y'all just go with the flow. You know, that's them telling you to your face that you both are not on the same page, right? And that they are most likely going to hurt you. And so there is zero reason to stick around past that point. You don't stick around thinking, oh, I'm going to change this person because you can't change someone else. You can only change yourself and you should only be worried about changing and taking care of yourself. For example, let's say you get in a fight with your partner and you guys get in a fight and you have your point of view, he has his point of view, and you're like, how can I get him to change his mind? How can I get him to see my point of view? That's what I want you to remember is that you, you can't force someone to change their mind, right? You can't force someone to view things in the same way that you view them. I'm sorry for the background noise. I get these kids, some, they come out here. <laughs> So you need to know or realize that if you're in an argument with someone, your primary job at that point is to come to a middle ground, a point of compromise. So you need to realize, so you need to understand that your primary job at that Point is not to change someone else's mind. It's not to change your partner's mind. It's not to make them see it in the way that you see it or vice versa, right? That is not your job. At that point, if you had just had an argument with your partner, right? At that point, your primary job becomes thinking about ways in which you can both find a compromise. That's the task ahead. A lot of people make this mistake. If you're in a relationship, whoop, 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 we get in an argument. He doesn't get it. He doesn't see it from my perspective. What's up? What's going on? But it's not your role to force that person to think or see things in the same way that you see them. What then becomes both of your roles, right? Both of your roles is to find a point of compromise. And usually with that comes at least the basic understanding of where each other, of, of where the other person is coming from. So if you can understand where each other is coming from, at least you can work to find a point of compromise. But your job is not to force an understanding. It's not to force an understanding. Your job is to find a compromise. And in an attempt to find the compromise, while trying to find the compromise, usually what happens is we're able to start understanding each other a little bit more. Because as we try to find this compromise, the first step is trying to, at the very least, understand what the situation is as a whole where the discrepancies are specifically, right? So that then we can see what we can compromise on. So the question that you should be asking yourself isn't, can I change him? Should I change him? Should I change her? Can I change her? How do I change? How do I change this? That's not the question that you should be asking yourself within a relationship. Again, mostly this is what I'm speaking on. The question is not those things. The question you should ask yourself as soon as something like that happens is, okay, how can I find a point of compromise? How can we find a point of compromise? What would that compromise potentially look like? And as you both start working towards that goal, then you get a little piece of that understanding as well because it's a requirement towards being able to accomplish that goal of being able to compromise. But if you make the goal changing that person or how do I change that person, there's no way of reaching that goal because it's not possible. Like we talked about earlier, you cannot change someone else's mind. So that should not be your goal. 
And so you're gonna he- you're gonna keep hitting a wall. You're never gonna reach that goal. You're gonna keep hitting the wall, and it's gonna make it harder for you to be in that relationship, for you to be able to compromise in that relationship, for you to be able to grow from that relationship as well. So that's the main difference. Um, there's so much that we can talk about in that topic, but I don't want to make the video too long. It's already been longer than I thought, but that's all right. Uh, you guys leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? What are your thoughts? Are there other things and conversations you'd like for us to talk about? Uh, also like the video helps the channel a lot and go ahead and subscribe to the Mayday Familia if you enjoyed the content. It helps out the channel a lot as well. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.